ultrasound guided chandicular nerve block. So let's start with the indications. The main indications are chronic knee pain and total knee arthroplasty. And our goal would be to inject 4 to 5 ml of local anesthetic around each nerve. So what exactly we do here? Basically it's a motor sparing technique and we anesthetize sensory terminal branch innervating the knee joint. Let's talk about the anatomy, the innervation of knee joint. It's very complex. It's innervated by the obturator, sciatic and the femoral nerves. And there's a lot of variation between the supply of the knee joint from these nerves. And uh, the terminal branch, which are the genital nerves which supply the knee joint, are basically four. The first one is the spirolator genital nerve, and it courses around the femoral shaft and it passes between vas lateralis and lateral epicondyle. And it's accompanied by spirolateral genital artery. Then we have got the spirometer genital nerve, and it also courses around the fem femur shaft and following the superior medial genital artery to pass between the adductor magnus tendon and the medial epicondyle below the vas medialis. We have also the inferior lateral genital nerve and uh, also course around the tibial lateral epicondyle and its deep the lateral collateral ligament. It's also accompanied by its corresponding uh, artery. Then we have inferior medial genicular, uh, genicular nerve and it co uh, courses horizontally below the medial collateral ligament between the tibial medial epicondyle and the insertion of the collateral ligament. It also is accompanied by the, its corresponding genicular artery. Let's come to the proposition. The patient is placed in the spine position and the ultrasound landmarks are the osteomuscular planes at the level of metaphysis. And additionally, uh, the landmarks are also the corresponding genicular arteries which follow the same path as the nerves and the collateral ligament. So in this pic you can see uh, the medial superior genicular nerve approach. We are using a linear high frequency probe. You can see the femur and you can see the vastus medialis muscle and also you can see the pulsatile genicular artery and uh, very near to that is the genicular nerve. So we come to the spirulator genicular nerve and that's our proposition in this. You can see the vastus lateralis muscle and the corresponding genicular artery. So that's our proposition for the inferior medial genicular nerve. We have slightly tilted the probe to get a better image in this patient. You can keep also this shown in this image in the probe like that, which can is more conventional. So this is a scanning for the spirometer genicular nerve. You can see the femur, the vast medialis muscle, and uh, you can put the color out, color out also to see the genicular artery. And here we put the color, you can see the, the genicular artery pulsating out there. And that's our target area. You can go in plane and out of plane. Mostly we go in plane. It's more easier than the outer plane technique. So this is scanning. We are scanning superior uh, lateral uh, genicular nerve, and uh, as already you know, the landmarks will be the femur and the vas lateralis. And uh, you can put the color doppler also out here, and to locate the genicular artery, and that will be our target area. So now we are scanning for the. Inferior medial genicular nerve, you can see the pulsatile genicular artery, you can also see the medial collateral ligament, and uh, that is going to be our target area, the genicular artery.